Welcome to The Sun, Hurtful or Helpful, an online science tutorial for students in grade one. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm hanging out with my friends at the beach today. Playing out in the sun all day can be fun, but my mom says it's also dangerous. I wonder what she means. Let's learn about the sun together. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to discuss how the sun can be helpful and hurtful. Before we begin, there's something that you should already know. The sun is in the sky during the daytime. During the nighttime, the sun is not in the sky. Let's begin our journey to knowing a little more about the sun. Did you know that the sun is a star? We usually think about seeing stars in the nighttime sky, but the sun is a star that we can see during the daytime. The sun is the closest star to Earth. It provides us with light, heat, and energy. Without the sun, we would not be able to live on Earth. Now it's your turn. The sun is a type of what? Choose one answer. Your choices are the moon, a fire, a star, or a light bulb. Click the green go circle to check your answer. Great work. You remembered that the sun is a star. It's the star that is closest to the Earth. Click the green go arrow to move on. The sun has many beneficial properties. That means that the sun can be helpful to us in many ways. The sun provides the Earth with heat. Can you imagine how cold the Earth would be without heat from the sun? We would not be able to live here without the warmth the sun provides us. The sun also provides us with light. Without the sun's light, it would always seem like nighttime. Both the heat and light that the sun provides is energy. The sun provides a lot of energy. Have you ever seen solar panels before? Some people use the sun's energy to create electricity and power their homes. Plants also use energy from the sun. Plants turn the sun's energy into food, and this helps them grow. Now it's your turn. Select all the items the sun produces that helps the earth. Your choices are rain, soil, heat, and light. Click the speaker next to the word to hear it again. Click the green go circle to check your answer. Great work. You remembered that the sun provides the earth with heat and light. Although the sun is beneficial and helpful in many ways, it can also be harmful if we're not careful. Have you ever gotten a sunburn? Ouch! A sunburn is your skin's way of reacting to damage from the sun. This can be very painful and cause more damage over time if you get many sunburns. Have you ever gone for a ride in the car? On a sunny day, the inside of a car can get very hot. It's very important not to be left in a car or leave a pet in a car without adult supervision. This is very dangerous. The heat can get too high inside the car in a very short amount of time and can badly hurt people and animals. Do not look at the sun. Another harmful thing that can happen from the sun is going blind. Looking directly at the sun can cause injury to your eyes and can even cause you to go blind and not be able to see. There are lots of things to remember to be safe in the sunshine. Now it's your turn. Select the items that can be harmful effects from the sun. Your choices are sunburn, too hot in a car, and injury to your eye. Click the speaker next to each answer choice to hear it again. Click the green go circle to check your answer. Great work! You remembered that the sun can be harmful. The sun can cause sunburns, and if you look at the sun, it can cause injury to your eyes.
The sun can also cause a car to get very hot and might result in injury if you or a pet was left inside. The sun can also cause other things to happen that might not be harmful, but not what you want and can be a real bummer. The sun can cause paints, fabrics, and other objects that are colorful to fade. Make sure you keep any special toys or pictures inside and away from the sun. Once I left a brand new pack of crayons outside on a sunny day. Can you guess what happened? Yes, they melted. What a bummer. Melting can be another unfortunate effect of the sun. I'm sure we've all had a popsicle melt on a hot day. Bummer. Keeping things out of the sun can prevent or delay melting. Now it's your turn. Drag the pictures that show how the sun can either be harmful or just a bummer. Remember that harm causes injury, but a bummer is disappointing but not harmful. Click the speaker next to the word to hear it again. Click the green go circle to check your answer. work? You remembered that the sun can be harmful, causing sunburns and resulting in a car becoming too hot for you or your pet to stay inside. Those are very dangerous situations. The sun can also result in outcomes that you don't want to happen, like a melting popsicle or a fading paint. What a bummer. Click the green go arrow to move on. The sun can be harmful, but luckily there are many ways we can help to protect ourselves in the sun. Sunscreen is a great tool to help prevent sunburn. It helps protect our skin from the sun's harmful rays. Wearing a hat, lightweight clothing, and sunglasses can also help protect us from the sun. Sunglasses reduce the bright light to our eyes and helps us see better when we're outside. Remember to never look at the sun even when wearing sunglasses. This can still be very dangerous and cause injury to your eyes. Hats protect the skin on our head and on our faces. A lightweight t-shirt can protect the skin on our arms, chest, and back. Another important part of sun safety is staying hydrated. Make sure you drink plenty of water if you're spending time in the sun. Now it's your turn. Match the body parts to the items that can help protect us from the sun. Click the green go circle to check your answer. work? A hat can protect your head and face from the sun. Sunglasses help to protect your eyes from the bright light outside. Sunscreen can be put on all your skin, especially your legs, to help with sun protection. A shirt can be worn to help protect your back and arms. I think I understand what my mom meant now. The sun is great. It provides the earth with heat, light, and energy. We would not be able to live on earth without the sun. However, the sun can be harmful as well. I need to make sure I protect myself against sunburn when I go outside. I can do that by wearing sunglasses, a hat, sunscreen, and a t-shirt. I'll drink plenty of water so I stay hydrated. I'll also make sure I clean up after myself. I don't want any of my toys to melt or fade. How about we try a little review of the sun? Is the sun a star? Choose yes or no. Click the green go circle to check your answer. Fantastic! You remembered that the sun is a star. Click the green go arrow to move on. Let's try another one. Does the sun provide us with heat, light, and energy? Choose yes or no. Click the green go circle to check your answer. Fantastic! You remembered that the sun provides us with heat, light, and energy. These are beneficial and helpful properties of the sun. Can the sun make paint fade? Choose yes or no. 
Click the green go circle to check your answer. Fantastic. You remembered that one unfortunate property of the sun is that it can make paint fade. One last question. Can clothing help keep you safe in the sun? Choose yes or no. Click the green go circle to check your answer. Fantastic. You remembered that lightweight clothing can protect you from a sunburn. Sunscreen, a hat, and sunglasses can also help in the sun. We learned so much together today. I now know that the sun is a star. It helps the earth by providing heat, light, and energy. The sun can also be harmful in many ways. It can cause sunburns. Cars can get too hot for people or pets to stay inside. And the sun can cause damage to your eyes if you look at it. The sun can also cause things to happen that we don't want, like melting popsicles or crayons and fading paint or my toys. Now I know how to stay safe in the sun. I'll wear a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, and lightweight clothing. I'll also bring lots of water bottles so we stay hydrated. I'm so glad we learned about the sun today.